I was particularly impressed when I saw in some of the information relative to you mm -hmm. that you had spent seven years, I think it was, praying that God would lead you to a place that where your yeah. qualifications could be most important. Yeah, that was a very important time in my life. And, uh, you know, my prayer was, Lord, when, when you reveal your will to me, I don't want to have some misty dream or some mm -hmm. small suggestion. I'd really like for you to hit me over the head with a baseball <laughs> bat so hard that I don't have any question. <laughs> and he's done that for me twice in my life. Oh, that's great. And coming to FEBC is one of them. Well, your head still looks okay. <laughs> I look at the legacy that's been established by FEBC uh, over the years. Millions of people per year are contacting the organization in yes. response to what they've heard via yes. broadcast from yes. FEBC on the radio. Mm -hmm. And that just, it, it excites me beyond words. And to think that we can continue that legacy on yeah. until the Lord returns. Amen. 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 Right? Yeah, we share a common vision there on that subject. I recall um, reading in the presidential search announcement that the board had placed on the website for FEBC uh -huh. where they said, we're praying that the Lord is stirring in the heart of our next president as we even write this. It's been two or three years now that the Lord has been pulling on my heartstrings to get involved with international I saw that in ministry. a note that they sent to me. And that, uh, yeah, it really shakes me to the bone to think that that was the Holy Spirit working in this whole process. Oh, yes. We, that's, that's the big thing. I always say, somehow, when we look at what God has done, mm -hmm. I mean, it's, until you see it all on a map of the world and what's going on everywhere, you'd mm -hmm. be blown over. Yeah. I mean, when I look at that, I say, well, I don't know why God chose me to be one of the ones that helped to found it. The scripture says he chooses the foolish things in the world to confound the wise. Yeah. So I don't know how many have been confounded, but... Uh, <laughs> well, I can tell you, I think I know why he chose you. I look at the success that this ministry has had over the 65 years it's been in operation, mm. and there's no accident involved in the fact that God chose you to put it's this true. ministry in place. My prayer daily is that he will give me the humility and the strength and the courage to continue in the same oh, reputation my, as you've started. My. Well, bless your heart, I'm just so delighted to have been asked to come here when you were here too. We had a man that we took on the staff then. He'd been a missionary in Africa for 20 years or something like that. Mm -hmm. And I talked to him one day and I said, tell me, how do you, how do you, uh, how do you know when it's the Lord that's leaving you? He said, the way, the only way you can know is that if you come to the time that you're struggling with something that is very significant uh, and uh, you don't have peace about it, mm. he said, you just keep waiting until you have peace. Mm. And when the Lord puts peace in your heart, you can know he's talking. Wow. It's, it's just uh, the still small voice of the Holy Spirit. Wow, that's great advice and I won't forget that. Dr. Bowman, I was really at great peace in my own heart as I was seeking this, whether this was the right position for me mm -hmm. to take and whether mm -hmm. it was a match for the organization. And I really did find myself weeks before the final interview that I had with the search committee mm -hmm. at absolute peace, oh, thinking to myself, wonderful. I've made up my That's mind. That's it, yeah. And if they choose me and ask me to take this position, I will know that that's my mm. affirmation from the Lord that this is what he'd have me to do. That's wonderful. And the day that they did call, I really felt that peace. Mm -hmm. I really felt that peace. One of the things that I was quite impressed with, the things that the people did here, they contacted the field mm. and asked them what characteristics should be in the one who became the president. But the three things they mentioned was what they were asking for. Mm. And that's what they got. Mm. Well, I can assure you I have quite a heart to continue your ministry. Can yeah. I ask you a question? Sure. What primary advice would you have for me? What would you say, Ed, these are the things that you cannot ever stray from? There's uh, one, one thing that I haven't voiced to anyone now. 
about the, the way knowledge is increasing, mm -hmm. and there are so many different avenues that are great, that we have to be careful that we always maintain the vision that God gave and use these other things on the side as things that can be used along the way. And boy, this internet is something else. And uh, things like that. That's great uh, to use, use those along the way, but don't let that take your eyes off of the mark. And the mark, most of all, is taking Christ to the Orient by radio. But now that means by these other little things that can be used. Well, they're big things, but I mean, who the knowledge is increasing so rapidly that uh, it's amazing. Well, Dr. Roman, I just want to thank you for the time we've had today. And more mm -hmm. importantly, I want to thank you for your consistent um, adherence to your vision to take Christ to the world through radio. I don't know if I've ever shared with you, but you know, my wife became a believer in Jesus Christ by listening to a Christian broadcast yes, so. on the radio. Yes, So yes. this is part of my personal commitment yes. to affirm your vision. And I will stay in touch with you because you are local. Ooh, we'll have lunch together sometime. I'd love that, very frequently as a matter okay. of fact. But I will keep that vision at the forefront of this ministry, Thank you. FEBC. And we will continue to use radio, and radio-like technology through the internet and mobile yes. phones to deliver Christ to the world. And daily, I will think and pray about our ability as an organization to stick to that mm -hmm. vision that you have had yes. for almost 65 years. Yes. Mm -hmm. So thank you, thank you for your faithful thank you service. Thank so very much. It's been a pleasure to get to know you. Thank you so much. God bless you and the whole staff. Well, thank you. God bless you.